today I'm going to give you an overview of using Seesaw. Seesaw is a digital portfolio that is great for the classroom. So if you're new to Seesaw, you will click sign up and it is a free sign up. There is a paid version and a free version. The free version does give us enough to do what we want to do. If you already got an account, you could go ahead and just click sign in. The first thing you do when you sign in is you click if you're a teacher, you're a student, or you're a family member. This works a little differently on the iPad because the iPad will remember your login and will stay logged in however you did until you log back out. So we log in as teachers. For the students who have Chromebooks, they can also log in using their Gmail. And of course, there's the parent section where they can log in. I always like to use my Google to sign in to everything, just makes it all easy. Okay, this is the basics of what your class will look like when you have a Seesaw class. Up here, you can see the different classes that you have. If you're signing in for the first time or using it for the first time, you can create a new class. You name your class and put in your grade, and then it gives you options of how you want to sign in. I like to have students sign in with an email address if they have Chromebooks. If they're using shared devices, which are iPads, then they would use a QR code. So please pay attention to this screen when you're setting up your class. iPads use the QR code and students with Chromebooks use their email address. You've now set up your class. You need to add your students, connect students. You can connect students with Chromebooks by having them put up this code in, you could put it in classroom and then have them sign up. So they sign up at appseesaw.me. They choose I'm a student, they use their Google, and they sign in using this code above. For the iPad students, you would click over here, get your QR code, and then when they click student, you just use the camera in the iPad, put it to the QR code, and it picks up your class. That's the basics of setting up. To add things to your classroom, you click the plus, and there are three things that you can add as a teacher. You can share activities. These are things that you want your class to do. These are like lesson pieces or artifacts that you want them to create. You can post directly to student journals. So that's where you can add pictures, videos, files, and you can also send announcements. I have one teacher who sends out announcements for field trips, reminders for special activities, bring in uh, money for book fair, that kind of thing. We'll start with share activity. Now you have an activity library. These are already activities that other that Seesaw is providing to you that you can add to your classroom and have students work on. So just an example one is here. Weather report, record a partner, tap the add button, tap the video tool, and click it. It gives them all the directions has a little video for the instructions. Record a partner reporting about. And you would just click share and it would go into the classroom for your students to respond. Next, there is posting to the student journal. This one looks exactly like what the students have. So you can add photos, videos, drawings, add files, notes, and notes is just plain old text, or put in hyperlinks. That's different websites you'd want the students to work on. So you would click on whatever you want to do. For example, video. You can select a video that's already on your computer or do a recording. The third option here is sending an announcement. Of course, you need to have students, but you send out an announcement and it goes to the students in your class. The activities are what I showed you before. So these are the, this is the activity library that has the built-in activities. You can also create a new activity. So for example, I had second graders do some practice reading in here. They could click create new and put in the activity name. So you would give your instructions. If you want to give voice instructions or attach a sample, click preview and go ahead and share that. So you can create your own activities or use the activities that are built into the library. This is the inbox. You can send announcements to students, families, or both. There's also notifications. Notifications are new activities that appear from your class. This is important to know because anything that a student posts to Seesaw does not actually go into their journal 
folder until you approve it. So you have to go to inbox notifications and approve all pieces of work that the students put into Seesaw before it goes into their folder. Skills, you can track student progress. And it also has a built-in blog feature where students can blog, which is to write about anything or everything. It's actually great for like maybe a weekly reflection where they write about what did you learn this week. The main page, however, is your journal. And this is where you will see your students. You will see what work has been submitted. You will be able to see what's been approved. And everything will appear here, kind of like a Facebook. The great thing about this is then there's the parent part. You will then send home a letter to every parent inviting them to see their child seesaw. The, the parent will sign up with that QR code that we talked about earlier. You will get all of that from this gear here. This is where you get your student codes or your family invites and all the other information that you would want to add or change for your seesaw. And it's really that easy. Thank you, and I hope this is helpful.